Paving the way for early elections in Jordan, two royal decrees have been issued. One dissolved the parliament, while the other called for early elections according to the provisions of Jordanian elections law. Dissolving the parliament, the government must resign within a week of the dissolution and the prime minister, who is in term, cannot form a new government. The coming parliamentary elections are expected to be held early next year after the Independent Elections Commission had extended the registration period until October 15th. The new parliament should be an effective partner for the government. A parliamentary government should get Jordan out of the economic crisis and force elected officials to pay more attention to poverty and unemployment, which is the main reason for recent protests. So the parliament's main task should be saving the country from economic crisis and it should serve in a monitoring capacity over all institutions in the kingdom. The king's quick reactions, pledging political reforms and the awareness of the Jordanian citizens of the consequences of Arab Spring over the neighboring countries, were the reason for Jordan remaining calm in stormy water. First of all, because of the wise leadership, Jordan is stable and safe, although it is in a volatile region. And second, the awareness of Jordanian people. When the people of Jordan asked for reforms, the king responded immediately. Despite the calls from Jordan's new government, Muslim Brotherhood led demonstrations in the kingdom's capital, Amman, and has announced earlier that the party would boycott the elections, stating that the changes to the electoral did not go far enough and that the constituency system favored tribal candidates. The parliament was not a real representative of the Jordanian people, but it is a main gate to any legislative reforms in both law and constitution. We're calling for a national government which will lead the dialogue with all parties to agree on all political and legislative reforms, and then maybe we'll take part in the elections. Answering a question on the relations between Muslim Brotherhood in Jordan and other countries like Egypt, Mansour said, We believe that the relations are more spiritual and mental than administrative. Every country has its own circumstances and its institutions, so all decisions are taken in each country depending on the data and circumstances in that country. The decision to dissolve the parliament came at a crucial time that required diplomacy to prevent a political crisis from getting worse in Jordan. Rad Bush for JN1 Amman.